वेलकम टू मामा माई स्ट्रेंथ फैमिली डे फ्रेंड्स इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो टू सब्सक्राइब लाइक शेयर कॉमेंट एंड हिट द बेल आइक ऑन Hi friends how are you all doing currently we are out for some family time as you can say the weather is very beautiful at the same time it's a little bit hot but we are still facing the smoky situation which is why the clouds color is a little bit dull and indicating that it is evening or just uh, somewhere around in the middle of the afternoon which is not true since the day has just started so it's just the early part of the day right now and it's sunday here right now so you will see that even though it's a weekend but there are less traffic right now As you can see the roads are pretty much empty. So we are just about to approach the main street which is this and just because of the traffic light you would have seen little extra vehicles but now since we have passed the traffic you can see that the road is again empty we have just passed a shopping complex ahead there are some road constructions going on that is why you are seeing this orange and white cone and some marking on the road we are just about to uh, reach or enter the freeway and just check out the traffic right now normally you will notice weekend time it's busy but during lockdown um you are still seeing fewer cars on the street as well as freeway as i mentioned to you this is freeway it's not the uh, you know um residential streets so guys here we are right in front of us is a big uh, vehicle it's a truck and normally when you are close to a truck try to be further behind or ahead of the truck but not to come on its way guys just check out we are just about to go to walmart uh, complex but we are not going to walmart yet and if you will see the clouds it's very much indicating that it is afternoon and it um, if you will see it very closely it looks like as if uh, it's a little bit foggy in the cloud but it's not that it's simply the smoke effect so here we are in the walmart complex we are trying to get some uh, panda express for lunch so panda express is right there and guys we have already got panda express which is why we are now going back it's just our vehicle was parked on the other direction which is why you were not able to see uh, panda express when we entered but you are about to see it when we are retrieving different complex has got different uh, fast food restaurants and um we also have one uh, in this particular complex so um this was the closest that we could come to as you can see ahead uh, of us 
on my right hand side was in and out which is a fast food restaurant just like mcdonald's and burger king Hope you are able to see some scenarios here of the smoky effect that I just uh, mentioned to you guys earlier on. This is simply because of the wildfire in the uh, mountains. So effect of the, that particular fire is seen around here. Now we are going back in the freeway and just because we have our child with us we have decided to go for some cruising meaning a long drive so we are going towards the city guys as you know it's locked down so most of the areas are inaccessible which is why we are going to areas that we can access my husband uh, decided to get some uh, vegetable from the farmers market now when we say the farmers market we actually mean the normal um, fresh food markets that you have or the municipal markets that some of the countries might have this particular uh, market um, is just like that and they are located in certain areas in a weekend and they normally supply or sell fresh produce like fresh fruits and vegetables that are like you know uh, straight from the farm so here we are and on my left hand side in that small uh, area where you can see the vehicles are parked that is where this small um, market is they are actually selling some fresh fruits and vegetables so my husband is trying to go and get there but just because we couldn't find a close by parking we have parked here and he's now double thinking that if we should move ahead which we did so we've already done our shopping our fresh uh, uh, vegetable shopping that he wanted to do today from this particular location now we are going out for cruise if you are seeing this you will know that we are in the city area which is true but we are trying to exit from the city area right now and re-enter into the freeway so my husband is like making double turns and instead of entering into freeway we came back towards downtown area this is the residential part of downtown right now it's a little far from the downtown area but it is counted in the same uh, zone so you will see um, that even though we are in the main city area but the traffic is not that high friends if you are enjoying my video please share it with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe like as well as comment on to my videos The city does have some small parks in between. 
but right now because of the lockdown less people are using it In fact, people prefer to be um, uh, mostly indoor um, than to hang out in uh, busy areas, you know, due to the virus. But we do have few people out and whoever is uh, hanging out are making sure that they're uh, fully covered. Um, they're using their face mask. We are still in the city area. Just driving by, nearby are some of the hotels that you can see. It's so hard to believe that US is very very much uh, a busy country and during this lockdown I know if you will see the less vehicle is just unbelievable because you know life here was very very busy you know and very much fast track but the virus has slowed down everything I'm still praying hard to me to ask God if he can please uh, make the uh, vaccine available for the virus. I believe this was the biggest uh, virus ever been found um, amongst human that has actually posed almost everyone's life. So here we are at the traffic light. Now we are proceeding. On my left hand side you will see parks but like I said uh, now people are uh, you know there's less people who are hanging out. There are other parks where you will definitely find people but not in the city area you know. And while we were driving through, my husband and I, we were talking that it's you now unbelievable that we are in the main city and there's less traffic. Like I mentioned, we are just cruising by, just spending some quality family time inside our vehicle, passing the tall buildings and the small buildings, parks and some houses, enjoying a little bit of nature, fresh air, good music, and, all, and at the same time, trying to share some uh, peace of mind with you guys as well hoping that we can put a smile on your face as well as reduce your stress level and create more family bonding between you and your family members right now we are uh, going towards old um, uh, side of the city so here is the big bridge that we will be going past and below this big building are the car parks as you can see This is the old part of the city which used to be very very busy but now it's not just simply because of the virus and it is very much close to the lake so the scenery here is very beautiful and it's a nice area to come with your family uh, 
to come here with your family so that you can enjoy the olden um, um, heritage buildings site as well as uh, railway site you know some uh, seafood restaurants are located here because it is near the river and yes in between these buildings are some pastry stores uh, some candy houses some chocolate um, you know stores that that create their own chocolate as well as you know um, some souvenir stores they also have a uh, fast food restaurants in between as well and um, you know they you know they look very beautiful the way they decorate so now we are retrieving out of this zone here we decided to not uh, take a walk around here um, so we are going back On my right hand side you will see a beautiful golden uh, bridge I love the way the bridge has been designed it's so beautiful and the way it's painted gold Here we are at the light, that's why we are taking a pause right now. Right now we are more taking a lead since the signal has turned green. And this was the beautiful bridge that I was talking about. It's painted gold and it looks so beautiful and it's in the middle of the city. And it's during daytime or nighttime when there are events, people love to walk through on sorry on the bridge here. You know, and uh, it's so beautiful because underneath the bridge is the river, and the breath and the scenery here is breathtaking. So we are going out of the city right now. My husband decided to uh, take us for a ride near Arden so we are heading towards Arden but we will not be doing any shopping from there we're just going for a ride and look at this vehicle right in front of us with uh, very small tires but you know it looks so high I love the streets when they are painted uh, in such color that brightens up the street it, as well as gives the area a beautiful um, you know sight whoever came up with that idea was you know really great I think Filling our life with color uh, can really enhance uh, people's mood and beautify it, you know. I believe no matter how depressed a person is, but a beautiful scenario can actually help reduce the stress. Which is why if you think that you are facing depression or are under stress then please go and watch some travel videos, some um, you know beautiful songs 
or some you know uh, food blog so that you know you can get some peace of mind or some shopping videos and the best would be to do some facials at home try out the new recipes and pamper yourself remember your life is more valuable than your enemies lives okay you cannot waste your life for people who hate you for people who put you down you know pull yourself up in other words pull your socks up and just show less care to them and focus on your life remember if you will be in stress they will be the first people to be happy so if you put a smile on your face and start being happy you will maintain your good health as well as make them feel sad because they will now know that their their pressure is not working on you so that's how life should be you know? all the negative people that is around you if you have to fight with them then fight with them with your positiveness of smile your positive attitude towards your own life take care of yourself and let them be what they are trying to be Remember your life is given to you by God so make beautiful use of it Life is not worth destroying it and I'm sure when they see you being happy they might change their mind as well Cuz remember every soul is special Okay so you know value it God has given us this beautiful life so make wise uh, choices in this life do not destroy your life value your body you know do not be victims of drugs etc because you remember you have a beautiful body that God has given you value it some people are outside who might be fighting for life or begging to leave but they are unsuccessful what is you have a life so don't destroy it compare yourself with them then you are more fortunate than others same way respect others life as well if we cannot give life to anyone then we do not have right to destroy it each person is someone's child someone's uh, uh, valuable life so don't hurt someone or their family for small reason or for personal grudges okay if you do come or come in such type of scenarios then simply back out back out leave that zone and leave that person and his or her family remember if a soul is hurt more than that so his family is hurt don't do that you may think you have taken one life but you wouldn't realize that you have actually destroyed many don't fall in the eyes of god try to you know do some good deeds that when you face god you would be grateful that you have done something beautiful in life 
try to be someone's good samaritan rather than someone's worst enemy hope my tiny message has reached everyone here we are still traveling towards aran and you can see because we are in the freeway the traffic has raised up not too many but few Here my daughter is right actually asking her father if she could get some toys this week and she was like really asking my husband if she can uh, visit Walmart and just pick a toy that she saw online we prefer to give our kids toys as rewards so we we actually tell our child that uh, you need to do something good or you need to have a good behavior or you need to do your school work um, well so we could reward you so just because um uh, her overall um her overall behavior was good so we decided to give her a treat uh, she could pick her toy for herself so we were uh, deciding if uh, she wanted to go to target but she kept deciding that no she wants it from walmart in walmart is much cheaper than compared to target so we promised her that on our way back home we will definitely uh, give her a chance to pick a toy remember if your child does something great then please don't forget to reward them a reward could be some type of like stickers their favorite food a pair of clothes some story books maybe a new coloring set but try to give keep this small type of treasures remember if you're going to reward your child for doing good things they will be motivated to continuously practice and do great and that is what we wish to encourage our child uh, to do So in this video I had you will see some clippings of Walmart since we took our ch our daughter for a treat Here is one of the hotels that we are just about to pass during summer many people used to take vacations but this year every plan was shut down because of the virus in back and this was like a big big uh, drawback for kids because they were the most affected ones because uh, you know all their plans were um, kind of wound up especially their school holidays and now they're facing extra challenge through distance learning though the teachers are doing great job by making sure that all the services are available in terms of academic aid but you know being in school having your recess and lunch time with your friends playing running around all those things were missed field trips were missed so guys here we are in Arden right now 
using that. My husband also wanted to get a couple of things from uh, Big Five. So we decided to go to Big Five. Big Five is a sporting store. They have hunting, uh, swimming, hiking, camping, all the um, outdoor um, activity stuffs, all the outdoor gears, I mean to say. Sometimes their prices are very much cheaper than compared to other places. And they also have great variety of shoes in terms of outdoor activity. So we were just talking by that why don't we visit this particular store. So that was one of the store that we would be visiting in this particular video. And as for my daughter, she was telling her father that no, I don't want to go to Big Five. I really want to go to Warm Mom, Dad. So my husband was trying to explain to her that, you know, Daddy also works and he needs to get things too, just like you. So uh, let's visit Daddy's store first before you we visit you store so we have to make i uh, know uh, tell her that she needs to compromise here which is um a great lesson because if we listen to our kids then our kids m must listen to us as well
guys here we are just about to approach a big fire as I've already mentioned to you guys the big, big five has got all the outdoor activity gears in it sometimes they are at a very good rate Here friends, we are right inside Walmart right now. Here we decided to just see a couple of things for kids. And I'm taking some pictures just to show to, uh, you guys around. These are some school gears. Halloween stops are here, which is on October 31st. And then we will have Thanksgiving Thank you for watching